Hello YouTube and welcome to my week three fat loss video. Um, so we did uh, week one where I started out at 140 pounds and throughout the week um, came down to 137, 138, averaged out at 139 most days. So that was where I started week two at 139. Went through week two um, and now uh, we are on week three. So I guess I should talk you through what happened in week two. So in week two, as I said, I started out at 139 pounds as an average, right? Um, so because that was only one pound down from my week one start point, I, uh, and I decreased calories, meaning I decreased food, and I decreased carbohydrates, meaning I decreased glycogen and water. I wasn't really surprised that a, a one pound drop, and I didn't, I didn't and don't really feel like that is indicative of fat loss. So I did the same again. So throughout week two, here is what happened. The exact same thing. So I hit one three, I hit a one three seven, I hit a one three eight, and the majority of the week I hit a one three nine. So um, nothing. <laughs> Essentially, nothing happened. Um, so for week three, this is what I did. I increased my cardio again. However. I didn't increase it 10 minutes, I only increased it five minutes. So I went from 30 minutes a day, week two, to 35 minutes a day in week three. And the reason why I didn't jump another 10 minutes like I had done previously, was because I do not need to be doing an hour of cardio a day, <laughs> you know, in a couple weeks time. That is too much too soon. Um, and it's not that I don't enjoy cardio or I like physically that would be too much for me. It's that it takes time, right? And already it takes me, you know, half an hour to get to my gym, it takes me half an hour to 45 minutes to weight train, depending on which part of my body I'm training. I'm doing half an hour of cardio, it takes me half an hour to get, Jesus, you know, like you really start to eat into time. And this is something that people need to be aware of. If you're time poor, you need to train smart. Um, so for me, I was like, right, fuck doing another 10 minutes. I'll do five. So I've increased my cardio from 30 minutes, six days a week in week two, to 35 minutes, six days a week in week three. So a five minute a day increase. Uh, still all steady state. I'm still using predominantly the Stairmaster. I'm going to have to switch that up at some point because as I mentioned in my last video, it's not a good idea to always do the same kind of cardio because your uh, body adapts um, and it stops having such a hit on your calorie expenditure. So I will change that up. Um, and then I also decreased my carbohydrates again from 170 grams and I decreased it by another 20 grams, which is another 80 calories, which brought me down to 150 grams of carbohydrates daily which has brought me down to 1,790 calories weekly. Again, I'm not doing any refeeds yet. Um, it's 1,790 calories. I don't need to. Um, and at 139 pounds, which is one pound down from uh, my start point, I don't need to. Um, that will change eventually. Um, and when I do implement refeeds, it will be... Um, two consecutive days, probably Saturday and Sunday, um, of probably like doubled carbohydrate intake um, to kind of give me, put me back in my maintenance, um, which will, by the way, decrease as my fat loss phase continues. Um, you know, your body will adapt to being on lower calories, hopefully, God willing. I will lose some fat. I'll also lose some um, lean body mass, um, which basically means that my BMR will lower because I'll have lower mass. Um, so my basal metabolic rate will lower, not to mention the fact that I will have metabolically adapted to lower calories, um, a lower carbohydrate intake. And so uh, basically what will happen is I will start to implement uh, two consecutive refeed days, like I say, probably Saturday and Sunday a week via doubled carbohydrates, which uh, I will try and, I'll try and manipulate to put me 
at my maintenance, but the point I'm making is that my maintenance will lower as the fat loss phase continues. Um, so here we are in week three. We are at 35 minutes a day of cardio, or steady state on the spare master. We are at 150 grams of carbohydrates uh, and still at 140 grams of protein and 70 grams of fat. And I'm at 1,790 calories. Now, I just actually wanted to talk about the fact that I normally will only start to see fat loss results when I hit around about 1,500 calories. Uh, it doesn't matter how much muscle I, I amass um, in the months where I try and gain. It doesn't matter how high I get my carbs and my calories in the months when I'm gaining. Um, ultimately, that's usually the number I have to get to to start to see fat loss results. Uh, there is a lot of people out there, people even more qualified than me, who are really anti-calorie counting, which makes me laugh. Uh, I can't get on board with that. They really dislike the whole idea of calorie counting um, in order to get results, which is crazy to me, but there you go. Um, and especially for somebody who trains, like who has muscle like me and lifts weights like I do, and who trains six days a week and does like cardio and everything, there are a lot of people out there that will be like, oh, how can you say, you know, that you only start to see results on 1500 calories, like, I weight, weight train and I see results on 1800 and amazing, like good for you, that's amazing. Look, genetically, we all have a different set point. We all have an area that we have to get to where genetically our bodies go, oh, okay, like you're, you're putting me in a deficit here. I'm not really that comfortable. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to start using fat for fuel. And genetically, we're all different and we all have a different response and different numbers. So if you are somebody who sees fat loss results on 1800 calories a day, mate, that's mega, I'm super jealous. I'm not, I'm somebody who sees results on 1500 calories uh, and I, it's never been different. I've even had preps, so I've even had to go as low as like 1200 because they've been so long winded. And by the end, I've just had like shoot, 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 shoot. And it's been like really hard on my body and catching up and trying to refeed and then catching up and trying to refeed. And it's been really, really intense. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm not really that surprised that I'm still at 139. I'm thinking that I'll probably have to, uh, probably another couple of weeks and I'll probably have to get my calories a little bit lower. And then I'm, I want to see that 137 number consistently i want to see it start to drop um so yeah that's where we are and i also have a few training videos to upload but i've been so busy editing the weightlifting book i've had no time but i will do that soon i promise and yeah thanks guys bye